We're back on the island of Santorini and taking the windy road to the city of Io to watch the sunset. Welcome to the Amateur Traveler Video Edition. I'm your host, Chris Christensen. You have to hope that the sunset's going to be worth it when you're stuck behind a truck on the windy road like this. The island of Santorini is a crescent moon shaped island with Io being at the northern tip of it. The island is all cliffs on the inside which is the internal part of the volcano that formed Santorini and then the outside as we look to our right we'll see that it slopes gently down towards beaches on the outside of the island. Io is a pretty town, perhaps the prettiest town on Santorini. You can see the town of Fira that we looked at last episode in the distance there and the ring of the island. And then, of course, you can find the characteristic blue domes of the Greek Orthodox churches. And then Io, you're going to find a lot of high-end hotels, real small hotels, and, of course, yachts in the distance. Io is a place of good shopping, but not inexpensive. Hello. The traditional way up from the water side of the island would be to ride one of the donkeys and you can hear the sounds of a Greek wedding in the background. E was also known for its windmills, although at this point most of them seem to be simply decorative. Well before sunset, the crowds will start to gather. We found a restaurant where we could watch the whole scene while leisurely having our dinner. And finally, as it does every night, the sun sets. And you can judge for yourself whether you think that this would be worth the windy road to Io. Clearly you're going to have to do that road back at night in the dark unless you spend the night in Io. For more episodes of The Amateur Traveler, both the weekly audio show and this, the video show, check out AmateurTraveler.com. And thanks so much for watching.